Hi guys, nice to see you again and today I want to let you in on a little experiment I'm running. I use Cyberlink PowerDirector for my videos and they've asked me to take a look at PhotoDirector and they've got this really cool mode I want to try out uh, where you can merge pictures together and it appears like there's several of you in a sort of orphan black style manner. So, I've got the setup here and I just need to move around. So you can actually, from this video that I'm making now, I will be taking stills from it and then the software will merge it together. So I'm just gonna to move to the back. So the idea is that you would uh, maybe use this in all sorts of different situations. You might use it with action, you might use it with uh, general photography. It's totally up to you. So I'm simply gonna position myself in a couple of different locations. And then we move over to the software and take a look at what it can do. So by the end of this, we should have a shot of me. We should have a shot of me videoing me with me in the background. This is Photo Director 8 and I may do some other videos so I'll put links to those in the cards above and I'm going to be doing video to photo for this effect so click on that. So here's the video you've just seen, this is what I shot and I'm going to be taking still images from it and I'm going to be composing a multi-exposure photo. So this is me just setting up. So the first thing we have to do is go through and click this photo button at the points we want to save. So here's me just having the intro chat to you, skip on and so here's me in the back, let's take a photo of that. Play it forwards a little bit and grab that photo. Now this will be interesting, I don't know what it will be like with one behind and one in front. And then I whizzed around the side inside like so. And we'll take a photo of that. So we've got three photos of me in various positions. You can click go to library. And we're going to import those photos. So we've now got the three photos and I need to tell it where I am in the photo so it knows what we're going to be moving. So we press start. And let's move this over to me. Click the tip box. This will now look across all the photos and will detect me. And it's detected me in all of them. But we can just see down here, we can double check. So if we go into the next one, that's correct. If we go into the last one, though, that isn't correct. So I'm going to readjust that box like so. Okay, and then we click merge. So this section has worked fine. This section in the background, not so much. And that's because it's overlaid that like rectangular square shape over, and over it. So that's why I'm cut off. So it would actually work better with, um, with just two. So there you go. So there's me twice. Put it three, uh, fade in, let's see what that does. So a bit of a ghosting, fade out so again. So quite a nice effect, different ghosting, just normal. Let's go back. Okay, let's say re-edit. Now, the problem here is you've got this rectangle. It'd be good, and I don't think there is a way. It'd be good if we could pull that in a bit more, wouldn't it? And that way, if it went around, it would probably do it a lot better. But if we delete this first one, and we've just got the two, and we just say merge. So there you go, there's me filming me in a very orphan black type of way. So you can see interestingly during the merge this little patch here has appeared and it's a bit darker on this side. So I'm wondering if that's due to the lighting as I did try this last night in the dark with just the spotlights and the results were really good. Today I'm filming in daylight so I've added the spotlights, gone back and refilmed. So let's do video to photo again. So one picture, two pictures, third. 
not quite in focus, but let's try three pictures. Let's go for it. Go to library, import. So again, we've got to select the area. So I'm going to try and get the shirting because I think it'll be the shirt that it picks up on more than anything. Looks like it has correctly identified all three this time, which is good. All right, let's try merging. So again, you can see this this area here has is got a box around it, which is a real shame. Uh, this size seems to be quite good. Me cheekily looking in. Let's try re-editing this uh, second one. Reduce this box size. So still getting a little bit of a box situation there as well. So I've got a bit more playing to do, but you can see how quick it is just to make these photos and they are pretty cool when you get a good result. So there you go, that was just a quick demo of the Cyberlink Photo Director version eight. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna go check it out. Cyberlink run a load of crazy promotions. It will start off at like a hundred pounds, hundred dollars. And then when they run a promotion, it'll drop right down to more like 39 pounds, $39, that, that kind of price. I'll put a link below, check it out. Follow me on Twitter because I will often tweet out uh, discounts and when I see the discounts I'll tweet out that Cyberlink have got promotion on. Right now as I've made this video they do have a promotion on so go check it out if PhotoDirect is something you're interested in. Hope you found this short video useful. If you haven't already please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.